this as a little segment because people ask this question a lot. Look at my wild cards here. My wild cards have 822 uncommon, 675 common wild cards. I am never going to have any use for these while I am playing arena and you can't convert them into anything else. So what do you do to get some small amount of value out of all of this crap? So this GitHub page here, which I will link in the video description down below, and I'm gonna throw the link in chat now. When this set releases, these are common and mythic and rare and uncommon cards that we can open this up and we can import them in 200 card blocks into Arena to craft them before I start opening packs. So I'm gonna import this string of cards and then it's not gonna show them to me. Oh, it's right there. And then we'll hit edit. And then we'll hit, uh, and then we'll hit craft all. 188 common wild cards, finish. Done. I'm gonna go to the next group on here and I'm gonna import all 200 of these. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit craft all. 196 wild common wild cards, good. We're gonna go to uncommon. We're gonna do the same thing. Now, why do you want to do this? So, the vault, that temporary feature that's going to be removed before Magic Arena officially releases because it's only a beta feature, the vault fills up very slowly as you open common and uncommon wild cards in your booster packs. So, by crafting all of these common and uncommon cards in this set. You can see I actually still have a bunch left, so I need to do this for the next couple of sets. So by crafting all of these commons and uncommons before I start opening booster packs, my vault fills slightly faster. In my experience, it's usually 1% vault progress per booster pack opened with common and uncommon wild cards. So the vault gives you rare and mythic wild cards. So this incidentally in an edge case works to convert some amount of common and uncommon wild cards into rare and mythic wild cards. And yes, the only reason we have to do this is because Magic Arena's economy system is predatory and consumer unfriendly and absolute bullshit in many, many ways. But this is the best we could do with the system we've got. So it's what you should be doing at set releases if you have a bunch of common and uncommon wild cards like I do. So... When we start, I have 102.9% vault progress. We'll hit open 10 and it shows us all of these. And now I have 112.8% vault progress. So yeah, so almost exactly 1% vault progress per pack when you craft all of the common and uncommon wild cards. So we'll get we'll get an extra vault out of out of these packs, which is an extra mythic and a couple extra rares. I didn't quite have enough for this set, but eventually, because I'm a whale, I'll open enough rare wild cards. I'll eventually want to pre-craft all the rares, probably in the next set or the set after. So that way I collect gems while I just open mythics. When you are a large sea creature for Magic Arena, like myself, mythic wild cards are always the bottleneck. The number, the number one sign that you are a Magic Arena minnow is that you do not have enough rare wild cards. I will never get to a point where we pre-craft mythics because I, I'm always short mythic wild cards. Always, always short mythic wild cards. Here's the, here's the GitHub link for the, for the, the way things to pre-craft. Oh, he's another release like Jumpstart. Yeah, yeah, that's why I haven't yet. 
I probably won't craft all of the rares if it takes all of my rare wild cards, but if I can have like 100 or so over. So I should have about 250% vault progress now. 250.7 vault progress. So yeah, almost, almost exactly 1% per pack once we pre-crafted uh, commons and uncommons. Little, little bit less than. I think we started at 102%, so we like lost... 2% over 100 packs, but a little bit, a little bit less than a percent per booster. And then when you open the vault, for people that have never experienced this before, it's incredibly disappointing. We'll click on this once. It gives us, uh, it gives us two rares and a mythic. And then because Magic Arena is a really buggy piece of software, it's now popped up my pre-order packs here because I've already opened those, but it never popped them up initially. So it's popping them up inside of my vault here because of the pop-up. And after we hit claim prize here, you'll note that there's still no packs in here because I already opened the 50 packs that those came with. Just what a, what a truly unique experience when it comes to, when it comes to the economy and code and the spaghetti mess that is Magic Arena.